This is a quick overview of the basic sustainability assessment tool, or BSAT. I want to acknowledge to begin with that there are lots of good frameworks out there already. Uh, many companies are using the Global Reporting Initiative, or the SDGs, or Integrated Reporting, to self-assess how they are doing on sustainability, and rating and ranking organizations have some excellent frameworks as well. The interesting thing about all of those is they have hundreds of questions and they are intended for large companies with access to expertise that can help them with those questions, either internally or externally. Most of the companies on the planet, though, are small and medium-sized enterprises. In Canada, for example, 99.8% of the companies in Canada have 500 employees or less, which is the definition of an SME. And in fact, if you drop it down to 100 employees or less, 98.1% of the companies in Canada have fewer than 100 employees, which means that they may not have access, internally or otherwise, to the kind of expertise to help them with those frameworks. So we need something that's more appropriate for them. And by the way, this is common for every country, the States, Europe, Latin America, and so on. 98% of the companies on the planet are small. So what we need to do, though, if we're going to come up with a framework that's more appropriate for them, is to make sure we're covering all of the right bases. So I did a comparison of all of these frameworks, giving a column on each of them and a massive, humongous spreadsheet that's downloadable from my website if you're, if you're interested. And what it shows is they're all basically asking about the same things. 18 things. Governance. Seven employee or environmental things, rather. So materials, energy, water, greenhouse gas emissions, etc. Five employer related things and five community related things. So five, five, seven, and one, that's 18 things. So we need to make sure that the basic sustainability assessment tool covers all of those, and it does. And it does that with only 20 multiple choice questions. So it's reasonable. It's also generic, so it can be used by a company in any sector, and it's based on the B Corp BIA and the Future Fit Business Benchmark, which are two really rigorous, very helpful benchmarks that I'm very close to. And it allows us to assess their progress towards science-based goals, not only for greenhouse gases, but for all of those core sustainability issues based on the research that was done with the Future Fit Business Benchmark, which I helped to develop. It also gives bonuses for positive impacts. Both of those frameworks do as well. Uh, that is to say, if, if your products and services are helping others, others improve their impacts uh, on those core sustainability issues, or if you're donating to organizations, either directly or indirectly, that are working with others on these things, then you get bonus points for those. So you end up with scores on all of these things. And what you can do then is decide which of these you want to work more on. But the scores are percent progress towards not causing any harm on that issue. So progress towards where science says we need to be on those issues. And we can also take those scores and translate them into how you're doing on the related SDGs and non-financial capitals. So the tool automatically, automatically translates those scores into scores on their related primary SDGs, environmentally related, employer-related and community-related SDGs. Does all of that automatically. And same for the non-financial capitals, translates these scores into scores on natural, human, and social capital. Does that for you automatically, in case that's of interest. Lots of suggestions for how to improve scores built in as well as action-oriented, and it's accessible. It's free. It's open source. It's an Excel workbook. Uh, you can do whatever you want with it. You can do some weighting if you want to do that. There are online versions of it available as well. It's good. It's, it's really good, and I encourage you to take a look at it and see if it might be helpful to you.